Before I start this video I want to thank you for watching. Please don't forget to share it with your friends. And with that being said. Hey tribal warriors. Today I'll explain the basics of how to noble enemy villages. There are a few things you will have to set up before you can conquer the world. First of all, you need to get your headquarters to level 20. Then you will be able to build an academy. An academy is required to recruit noblemen who will then help your army to conquer your enemy's villages. Noblemen require coins before you can recruit them. You can mint coins in your academy. Now we have a few noblemen at our disposal, so let's conquer a village. Make sure to send enough troops with your noblemen, so you can defeat all defending troops. If you fail to do that, your nobleman might not return from his mission. Don't send more than one nobleman per attack as it doesn't increase the loyalty drop. As soon as you feel confident with your army size, send the attack including your nobleman. For this video, we have skipped the travel time of our army to get the battle results right away. As we can see in our battle report, we have won the battle and the loyalty of the attacked village has dropped. A nobleman can reduce the loyalty of an attacked village by a value between 20 and 35 for each attack. In order to conquer this village, we will have to attack it multiple times. You shouldn't waste too much time between attacks for two important reasons. First, a village that suffers from loyalty loss will recover one loyalty point every hour. Second, you don't want to give your opponent the chance to rebuild his defenses. It's best to have four or more noblemen at your disposal to run a sequence of attacks to conquer your desired village in a very short amount of time. If you have a paladin equipped with Vasco's Scepter, you can get lucky and conquer a village with only three attacks. Once the loyalty of a village drops below zero, you have conquered the village. The loyalty value is reset to a value of 25 and will slowly recover over time. The last successful noble attack will also consume your assigned nobleman. He will then basically become the leader of your new village. I hope this video helped you. If you liked it please hit that like button. You can subscribe for more content and check out my other videos. Now get back to the game and crush your enemies. Thank you for watching.